Welcome to the channel of RD Automation Learning. So in this video, we'll be discussing with you one of the important automation testing interview question that is asked in an interviews. Now these days, uh, you can expect this uh, real-time interview question, scenario-based questions more because they are emphasizing, when I say they, the interviewers or the companies are emphasizing more on test automation, automation testing. So you would get these kind of questions a lot. So let's say there is a web page which contains a dynamically generated ID for a login button. How would you handle this element in automation? What do I mean by saying dynamically generated ID? So what does this mean? So dynamically generated ID means that the IDs are changing. Okay, so IDs are getting changed. So here your ID is login underscore one, two, three, four. This for this instance, when you are trying to hit the web page, another time when you will hit the web page, it might be displayed as uh, one, two, three, four, five, for example. So IDs are changing. So those are dynamic in nature. At times, when when we do any kind of studies or when we do any kind of courses, we always say that. Uh, you should try to find out with respect to locators, you will take ID, you should take names as those are static, those are uh, not dynamic, so you can go for them. If those are not working, go for XPath. But what if your ID itself is getting changed? So this kind of questions you can get in an interview. And before we move towards the answer, let me share with you one of the MNC based interview questions answers product, which we have created for, and these all questions were asked from the people who have given the interviews, real-time interviews in different, different companies. So you can see the names of the companies here. And don't stick to this question like uh, any, any question, like it's a company-based question, okay? These questions are generic in nature. You can get these questions in any of other companies also, but you would get an idea, okay, this is how the questions would be asked. This is how I have to answer. So I'll be putting this link of the MNC-based companies testing interview questions and answers in the description as well as in the comment section of the video. So you can quickly purchase this product and you can start preparing for the interviews in a right manner. Okay. Nobody's asking you these days, what is Selenium? Nobody's asking you these days, why do we write uh, uh, web driver, driver equal to new program? All those things are not coming these days. What uh, What is important in interviews in these days is about these kind of questions. Okay, so let's say you get an ID, which is dynamic in nature, it's changing every time. So what you would do at this particular instance? So you would right. So first of all, you have to search for other reliable locators. Okay, or I would say attributes of the elements don't don't focus on id in this case right that is the first thing second thing is you can try for a locator which has contains with or starts with kind of thing so when when i say contains with so login is at least common in both the ids login is at least common so you can create your locators with that particular things like contains with starts with that's important you can also check you can have some weight here, okay, just to ensure that if if the element might be taking it some time to uh, reveal the original ID, so it might take some time. So use explicit weight also at this particular moment. So let me share one of the answer sheet with you so that you get an idea of what kind of approaches I am telling to you, okay. So we have got this problem statement. That is the ID is getting changed. So first thing that we will go as a solution is we will use a stable attribute. Okay, if it is available, for example, you can see type is available. You can see uh, button is available, type equal to submit login button is available. So you can try create an XPath in this manner. What if ID is dynamic? You can go for other locators also. 
and you can go for partial matching just i i was just telling you about that starts with contains with some particular id login so that kind of things you can do right when id has got some pattern it has got like login underscore one two three four or login underscore five six seven eight or login underscore one two three four five so login is remaining common so go for that approach use text content okay so when i say text content that means you can go for this particular text content also. Now here you can get one cross question from your interviewer that what if my website is getting internationalization? Is it, it is undergoing some globalization. The language of my website, of my screen, of my content would be changing from English language to Chinese language or Japanese language. Then what would, would this locator work? No, then we'll go for some other locator because then text-based locators will not work. But this text-based locator will work for this particular situation, right? Use hierarchical XPath or relative XPath, you can tell. Okay, so this is one of the XPath. Then use database attributes. So, for example, you can go for CSS locators also, right? You can use CSS class name if it is unique, you can go for that, right? That's also possible. So, these are the ways how would you handle the element whose ID is dynamic in nature, right? You can use wait statements to ensure element is present. You can use page object model for maintainability for main, for less maintenance. You can use uh, uh, different kinds of locators that we just saw in this particular picture. Okay, so that's very important. When when you are telling that uh, you have to handle this kind of elements, if you are being asked in an interview, then interviewer is expecting different approach, different strategy for your particular answer. So you should not feel stuck at that time. Oh, I got one scenario based question. Now I'm confused. I won't be able to clear the intent. That should not happen. You should think always about the different solutions. You should think always about the different approach. What would be your strategy in this case? Because these things are common. These days there are so many websites being made up and not every developer would be keeping in mind about all these things. So these things are bound to happen in a real time company or in an organization, you would work in an automation project. So it would happen. You won't get ID as the unique or ID as reliable. The IDs are changing. So in that case, you should always go for these particular approaches, right? So all this type of questions are covered in this top main based product. Even today's question, how would you handle dynamic based IDs? and uh, what would be your strategy what would be your approach this particular thing also has been covered in the product so you can get this pdf over there itself along with the answer so you can prepare and when you are referring to these products you will have an open edit mindset okay this kind of questions might come to me in an interview okay so as i was telling you the interviews have picked up these days they are expecting you to perform at a next level that's that's another thing even if you get selected in a company you are not guaranteed that you will get that kind of automation work you might be sitting on the manual work as well that's a totally separate discussion but for now let's focus on clearing the interviews once you will clear the interview then you will have an option whether you have to join that company or not otherwise it's a no-go for you right so that's very important you should be able to answer these kind of questions if you are able to answer these kind of questions definitely you would be getting shortlisted in an interview, right? So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And let me know in the comment section what other kind of questions you are you have got in an interview. So we'll create videos on that and we'll support you in that, right? So that's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching this video. And don't forget to hit like, share and subscribe our channel because we are coming with this kind of content daily with this kind of uh, question answers, mock interviews, job opportunities we are posting it free of course we are not charging anything so request you to like share and subscribe on the channel thank you